Hey guys, James here, back with another video. So, um, in my previous video that I just did, I did the unboxing of this. This is the Galaxy Tab S2. It's the 64 gigabyte version, the Wi-Fi white, and it's the 9.7 inch. And so, that was the unboxing, but today we're just gonna do the first setup and then a kind of a quick look on the interface and kind of everything. So let's, first of all, let's get straight into it and power up the device. So, power button is on this side. Okay, it takes a while to, to turn up. Okay, so start, so it came, comes with 55% battery. So let's do start, yeah, so English Australia. Okay, Wi-Fi, so let me just turn on uh, my Wi-Fi. And, all right, license agreement. Um, no, don't want diagnostic data. Agree. Software update. Why not, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, so I'm just gonna use my email for today, but then I'm just gonna do a factory reset when I give it back to him. All right, so question about Google services. Okay, so this does have a fingerprint sensor, so let's just do it. Um, so prevent others from using the setup. So you can set up a pin, panel, or password, or you can choose not to put a password at all, or you can choose to use the fingerprint. So we'll do the fingerprint. Okay, use your fingerprint to unlock, okay. Okay, so in order for um, you to use the fingerprint, you must, you must have like a kind of backup for it. So let's just do uh, a pattern. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just do, uh, so in addition to that, we can say, hey, do that. Uh, maybe not. Um, yeah, we won't require. Okay, let's just do a nice L. Okay. I'll probably do it like this, so. Now it's cool how you don't have to swipe the thing, which is really nice. Okay, so yes, show notifications. Okay, done. All right. So you have a choice to set up from an old backup. So this is obviously my Samsung Galaxy Note 4, but I'll say uh, no setup as a new device. Saying some account, um, looks like yes. All right, we'll just have to log in. Okay. and. Um, Nah, so we're not backing up and syncing, so don't need that. Yep, so it's consent to use information for weather, yes. No, we'll just turn that off. Okay, fine, we'll agree. Okay, my knock. So, my knock is kind of like a security thing. Um, no, we'll just finish, we won't, we won't install Nox. All right, so this is the interface itself. It's not lightning fast, but there is a little bit of a lag as you can see there, but nothing too bad. Um, so what do we get in the notifications? So let's just turn the location off. Um, all these different, all these different functions. Um, so let's see what apps it comes with. So it looks like these are the default apps. So it comes with um, the Microsoft apps. Let's see if that's a full version or not. Um, yeah, it looks like it. Um, so that's that's cool. Uh, what else? Google, all these Google apps. Um, that's pretty much it. So first things first, let's log into Play Store. Let's go to my apps and games. Um, let's do an update. Oh, let's see if there's a device update first. So. Check for updates. Now surely there has to be an update. Device registered, yes, but I want to update. Yes, there is an update, 426 megabytes. So let's do that. All right, so we'll let this load and then we'll come back when it's done. 
Um, now that the thing's finished downloading, I'm also charging at the moment. As you can see, the charge port is there. Now, it, before I do this, um, there's something which I noticed when it's installing and stuff. Um, this particular spot was really, really hot just behind here. So I'm assuming it's either the processor is there or, you know, something. Um, and also, I forgot to mention that the back of the uh, thing is plastic, so... Yep, so let's just install now. Um, so I was just kind of playing around with a few things. I'm installing updates. Okay, so restarting. All right, so that's done. That whole process took about 10, 10 to 11 minutes to finish. Um, so yeah, I guess, okay, let's get the first time unlock. So the device has been updated, wonderful. Um, so now it's again checking. So let's see what it updated to about device. Um, software info so I think it was 6.0.0 and then so it went to 6.0.1 maybe I think that's what it is let's look at display still a nice nice bright display you guys can see actually maybe we'll turn it down a little bit okay um, screen timeout we'll just do 10 minutes we'll do adaptive no screensaver. All right, so I've installed a few things. You get the clock. Okay, Google. All right, so that's obviously activated. That was a little bit slow though. Um, admit, okay, Google. That's a bit better now that it's launched it. Okay, yes, okay, so we'll just close all that. Quick look, you have clock, and this is the default Samsung kind of clock. You got your world clock. Um, you have a stopwatch, you have a timer. Pretty standard stuff. Um, you have a memo app, which is really handy, by the way, um, because there isn't really an easy way to get it for things. So, so this is the memo app for the Galaxy. Oops, spelling mistake. Tab S2. All right, so not bad. Um, now the keyboard, I like the keyboard. I'll probably install, if this was mine, I would probably install the Swift Key keyboard, um, but that's for another thing. Pretty standard stuff, really. Um, my files, you can browse. Now let's look at the basics. So there is no quick charge um, because I've connected it to the actual thing. And obviously um, there's no quick charge icon, but obviously it says it's charging. So this is the SMT813, as you can see here. This is um, some of the information if you wanna look at that. Battery info, interesting to see that. So it actually tells you the battery capacity, which is cool. Um, so just lifting that up after the, that 10 minutes, it's not that bad. It's a little bit warm, but it's okay. So in terms of camera, let's just, um, let's just take a few things. I'll have a few things laying around, so. Let's just do that. Doesn't look like um, the the camera is that great. I mean, it's only eight megapixels. You have some effects here. There's a timer, two, five, 10 seconds. 
Um, again, these are your picture sizes, but of course you want to keep it to max. Some settings, so I turned on the grid lines. You're gonna have location tags, picture review, which we shouldn't do. Um, storage location, so if you have an SD card in there, micro SD card, you can change that. Volume function, so you can choose it to record video, zoom, or take pictures, we'll just leave it as take pictures. And then the video size, of course, we want to leave it full HD. Um, some of the modes, so you have Pro, okay, and that's interesting. Okay, you have panoramic, which is your standard panoramic mode, nothing special about. Continuous shot, so it's like burst, burst shooting, I think. You can see, it's not that, not that quick, but it's all right, you can capture stuff. HDR tone, so let's, uh, let's do a, that's interesting. Okay, so let's just take a picture like that. So it's trying to reconcile the two, the two, I don't know. Let's just compare, let's do a normal, normal auto mode picture. Is there any difference? This HDR, not HDR. A little bit brighter, I didn't see much difference with that. I don't know, maybe it works in the sunset more. Um, night time, so I'm assuming this is like really low, really low light, I don't know. And yeah, of course you can download kind of extra, extra types. Um, now just using that, that's actually really hot at the moment. Um, so yeah, beauty face, that's pretty good. Um, if you're really into selfies, it, it pretty much takes the blemishes out of your skin. Um, sport shot, I think it's fast shutter. Rear cam selfie, so pretty much, I think when you, when you smile, it'll take a picture. So that's really handy as well. But we won't worry about that. Let's go back. And then let's go into pro mode. So you can choose your own white balance. So you can see how that's changing, which is pretty cool. ISO, you can use your own ISO. Um, obviously it's really grainy and then you have exposure compensation. Oh, and then also you have um, the center weight. So the different weighting modes, metering modes and settings. I think it's the same. So it's just the on camera stuff. So. So this is the video from the Tab S2. So let's just try to do a focus here and then focus on the foreground. Yeah, that works. Lighting is a little bit, little bit bad. Um, okay, okay. Um, tap the focus. Yeah, it can do macro shots pretty well, as you can see here. Um, that's my lens cap for my Sony. Yeah, overall, not bad from looking at the thing, but yeah, we'll have to see. You judge for yourself. Is this a good camera? But I think ultimately the strong points of this tablet is not necessarily in its camera, um, but rather in, in the display and everything. So that's it for this video. So this was just supposed to be um, a quick look at the first setup and then the software updates and everything. And then, so the next video, which I'll do, um, it's kind of like a three part series, um, is a more in-depth look. So I'll check out the display. I'll check out um, the performance quality on some games. I love this game. This is my current new game. And just a few more features and, and stuff like that. Really more in-depth look on this particular device. Another video, which I'll be doing, which is not really part of this series, but I have a screen protector um, that, that I bought. So it's new glass, of course. And um, I'll be putting that on this as well. So look out for those two videos to come. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Like it if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or any comments. And I'll try to get around to answering those for you as soon as I can. Subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one.